Alright, what's going down everybody? We are back on Project F100. I'm super excited about this project. I always love doing fab stuff and this has been one I've been waiting to do until I got some other stuff done on the project to kind of keep me motivated so I didn't stall out. Um, we are going to be converting the whole back of this truck to coilover. So we're going to be making all of our own mounts. Uh, currently this truck is running a 2004 Ford Mustang uh, 8.8 .8 with a four link. So it's all the factory arms, top and bottom, uh, factory sway bar. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be cutting all that stuff off and then we're gonna be replacing it with our own custom coilover mounts, which I've never made before, but I went on the old internet, found some pictures that I think should work and, uh, and we're going for it. Made some templates and we got our test stuff. I cleared it all with the bed and I'm confident that it's gonna do what it's supposed to do. So, this video will be templates, uh, mock-up, final weld, and putting the coilovers on. We're going to be running QA1 single adjustable coilovers, um, which is just going to make this truck handle amazing, ride amazing, and obviously we're cutting a ton of weight by getting rid of all this old junk that's on the back of this truck and just cleaning it up. I also have some other little shiny bits that I'm excited about. I have QA1 lower control arms and uh, Heim joint upper adjustable control arms. Um, so it should look really cool back there. I'm, I'm excited on how this is all coming together. So let's hop in here. I'll show you what I got and let's get started. Like I told you, I said I would bring you in and show you. So this is what we had. This was on the truck before I got it. I had to redo some stuff if you didn't see in the old videos. Uh, pinion angle was massively off. Um, these upper arms, you couldn't get the bolts out. So I built this upper cross member, sleeved it, um, that way you can get the bolts in and out. Cleaned all this stuff up, but like I said, it, it's it's time for it to go. Bed's off. Build the truck one time, hopefully. So I got all this stuff cut off this side. Everything's cleaned up. Busted out the old cardboard CAD. And this is what I came up with. So I made the back fish plate. And then I made these uppers. These uppers go on here to hold... The coil over at the top. I was going to drill holes in them and weld that out, but I got rid of that. Uh, then I also ended up building a couple brackets for gussets up top. So those will go up top, put some speed holes in them, and then this and this is repeated for down below to hold down there. So <clears throat> that's already down there. I got those cut out, got those welded on. That is all tacked up, speed holes in it. I don't know. I kind of think I want to maybe speed hole the bottom, but meh. Uh, and then once I did the single plate, I realized I really don't like how this frame was C-notched. I didn't do it. Like I said, I've just cleaned it up. So I figured I might as well make the plate pick up the other side of the C-notch just to give a little more strength to this frame because these frames on their own are not very strong. He did run, the guy that did it, did do two by four um, steel in there and then notched it and plated it. So it is strong. This is what I have come up with. So this is my plate. This is my bracket. Like I said, I need to final weld it. There's the old speed holds and the gusset. I'll bring this thing down here. <clears throat> How this is going to work. So that's going to go on there like that. And that'll be my upper mount. And that'll be my lower mount. Um, I put the coil over on. We put the bed on. Everything clears. And it's golden. So... Uh, I would have liked to have tried to bring this mount up a little higher because obviously the more headroom I could give myself, um, the more adjustability we're going to have out of this bad boy. Um, this is what we're going to be running. It's this beautiful QA1 coilover. And I gave myself as much room as I could give myself. So we're, uh, we're going to have to be happy with what we have. I did drop those down another two inches. And I kind of contemplated, well, maybe that's too low. But if you look down below, it's not much lower than my sway bar and the bottom of my diff. And then, like, also a lot of, like, slapper bars or cal tracks, stuff like that, hang super low. So when we still have six inches of clearance from the ground. These are the wheels that I'll be running. So I guess let's get to welding. And then we'll get to cutting out brackets and keep on pushing forward thing I figured I would say is the tools that I use to do this. Uh, I mean, obviously we're just here in the old built to beat garage. We don't have a crazy amount of, of stuff. So we used grinder, cutoff wheel, flapper disc, 
the old square, a Sharpie, my port band which was nice. The first set, I needed a new blade for the port band. First set of these I cut out with the grinder, which you can, just takes way longer. That port band is, it's just amazing. And then you just need a fresh CAD file, you know? Go through there and beep boop, design your, uh, your CAD program. So, like I said, all right, I'm gonna get to welding. I'll bring in on this one mount so like I said got this welded up I was able to get on the inside weld the inside up so she's welded 360 on that to top plate on ground that all smooth so that'll all just be black and painted that guy's ready we're gonna go ahead get it on the frame I already got the frame cleaned up we'll get it clamped on the frame and then I'll go ahead and tack it into place I'll throw the coil over on there just so y'all can see see what we're working with see how good it looks and then we'll pull the bottom mount off, final weld that, and final weld the whole top mount. This side's done minus paint. And we gotta cut off that old shock mount. I got this thing all clamped on there and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld this space right here first, get it on nice and good and then I'll chase it with heat, I don't know, probably every inch and a half, inch and three quarter and I'll just skip it, boop, 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 that way I'm stitch welding around the whole thing instead of just doing big, big runs on it. So I'll get this welded and then chase it with my clamps, chase it with the heat and get that thing on there nice and tight. I'd bring you on in so that's all welded one mount on top bottom all around so I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up I went and scuffed it with some sandpaper I'm gonna wipe it with some uh, wax and grease remover and then I'm gonna shoot it really quick just so it's all cleaned up actually I need to cut off that old mount I'll bring you back in so there's first coat of paint on it and the coil over in I mean I'm no pro fabricator welder I definitely enjoy doing it and I think that's awesome I think that'll work good I mean so much less material in there the frame looks so much better especially when I get the new control arms and stuff on there I'll put a whole nother coat on the top of that and uh, yeah I'm completely happy with that well here we go we're getting ready on this I figured I'd bring you in show you what we got going so I got my uh, exact precise measurement tool that came from that side on this side now so that way we're gonna pop the spring out cut the mount off lower the truck to where our mount is exactly the same height as that one bada boom bada bing and then we'll go ahead and tack weld that on there get the plate off final weld all that and then we'll just we're gonna we're 50 percent there so let's get to cutting i get the old highly uh, sophisticated spring removal tool here we shortened it a little, so it came out nice and easy. All right, I'm gonna lower the jack down, and then we'll get that lined up to where it needs to be. So we're just gonna lower this down, and then I'll check my marks on the bottom. I put marks on the bottom, eighth of an inch up. That's what we had on the other side, and that should give us the same exact height on both sides, being that I made this little rod. I 
I caught a little mistake before I went and tacked that up. I won't hang, leave you hanging much longer, but I forgot I radius the top of those. I hadn't done that on this, so I just went brought those over there, radius that up, and we can get it back on, get it tacked up, make sure everything's good and dandy. More thing, bring you in just in case you're doing something like this. These frames are so weak, uh, or let me rephrase that. These frames have so much flex, which is so good. Even with everything being boxed in and the extra support up there, if you don't jack up both sides of the frame rail, I was out putting this mount up. I was out a quarter of an inch. So I put this bar across the top, mount to mount. That way everything's right where it needs to be. And now we're level. I have my spacer piece in there because that one has that one welded in. But yeah, that's crazy. It was a quarter of an inch just by jacking up that side of the frame. That's how far it was off. So I'm glad I went ahead, just put the bar, picked up both frame rails. Now we're where we need to be. Now I can tack that and we should be golden delicious. All right, time to slice and dice. I'm recording. Yeah. That hard 10 and a half minutes of cutting this stupid bracket off. Let's see if we can get it out without scratching the rear end. Sweet. One more piece of junk to the junk pile. Now we just gotta clean that frame up, get ready to weld on the blades. So we're all tack welded on there. Well, more than tack welded on there. Started welding the plate on, everything's cleaned up. So we're gonna get this thing final welded, shoot some paint on it, throw the coil over in, and we're done with this side. it in I went ahead and scuffed it we need to hit it with the grease and wax remover also made another one of those coilover mock-up spacer guys that I made for the other side so now we're sitting at ride height yeah let's get some paint on throw the coil over in there just to treat myself so I can see it uh, all finished up and moving on got the old paint match fired up had it over by the fire getting nice and warm. I'm just going to go ahead and throw a nice little dust coat on it. Not get greedy. That's my problem. I get greedy every time. I put too much paint on it and it doesn't want to dry. And then I can't do multiple coats. I'll be fine. Let it get nice and warm. I'm going to lay it on heavy. Bring it in on the hotness. All painted with the coil over in there. I think it turned out awesome. I'm super excited about it. It's awesome to have the truck on coilovers before I've even driven it, you know? I mean, why not? Just one less thing I have to do taking the bed off. I might as well just do it while I'm here. They're done. I've never built mounts before. It was cool plating the C-notch and kind of picking up, making a bigger mount on that. I think it turned out great. What do you guys think? I think it should do really good. The only other thing I was talking to my buddy Dexter about is should I put a panhard bar on it? That's a later date, but do you think it needs a panhard bar and how much do you think it'll really help with this four link? Now just keep in mind, I do have QA1 boxed lowers and heim joint up adjustable uppers with all the poly bushing. So that's, that's gonna help a ton, but do you think I need the panhard bar? I don't know, shoot me a comment. Also, what do you think? Not bad for a YouTube guy? All right, well, what do you think? Um, obviously, there's probably a million different ways that I could have built these coilover mounts. This is the way I went. Uh, shoot me a comment. What should I have done differently? I'm always trying to get better. I'm always trying to learn different ways. 
Uh, like I said, this is just, I did a little research, said, hey, this should work and it should look pretty cool. So overview on what we did, we built our mounts, we plated the frame, we built lower mounts to drop the bottom of the coilover a little lower. What I am gonna be running is a QA1 coilover. It's gonna be a single adjustable coilover with a 10 inch spring at 150 pound weight. So I think the 150 is gonna work great. What do you think? Um, I'm running a 250 in the Camaro right now. The back of the Camaro is definitely heavier than this and it is a stiff ride. I mean, I have it set up doing autocross. Um, I wanna do a little bit of everything in this. So I think with the dampen adjustable um, on this, and the 150 pound spring with the lighter weight in the back, I think we're gonna be doing really good. So, I don't know, what do you think? Also, we have more stuff coming on this truck. So I have full QA1 coilover conversion for the front, cause I'm running a Crown Vic front end. So you guys will get to see that. Um, and then I also have upper and lower control arms in the back um, for this Ford 8.8. So we're gonna, we're gonna be doing pretty good in the handling department, I have a feeling. But what do you think? Also, um, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to see me bumble my way through some more cool stuff. I think it's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed it. Till next time.